E W S. It's the Overnight Underground Podcast. Now the headlines. The COVID surveillance state kicks into high gear. Because I don't need him looking at my bra. Prisoners get jobs. Digging mass graves. Bring out your dead. <laughs> Jersey man busted for violating coronavirus rules. You're all under arrest. All this and more on today's Overnight Underground News. I'm John Ford. In the UK, the government is readying a release of a new app that will detect nearby contact carriers of the dreaded coronavirus. The app, which according to Big Brother, will be available on an opt-in basis and will be released either just before or just after the lockdown is lifted, according to Sky News. In a nutshell, what it does is it alerts you if you come too close to someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Meanwhile, in the rest of Europe, a group of tech overlords announced they will soon launch a technology for smartphones designed to trace people who have come in contact with the infected. The initiative, which is called Pan-European Privacy Preserving Proximity Tracing. Talk about bogus nomenclature. How in the world is this privacy preserving? Anyway, it implements the use of smartphones that in some Asian police states, uh, countries, are used to track the virus and enforce quarantine orders. Citizens, needless to say, those Asian initiatives would have violated strict EU data protection rules. But let's face it, legal privacy has lost all meaning in the age of the quarantine. Well, that escalated quickly. Coronavirus is now the third leading cause of death in the U.S., According to data from the CDC, COVID-19 is now killing just under 750 people per day. Only heart disease and cancer lead coronavirus in the death count. COVID-19, it's sort of like the Avis in the world of diseases. We try harder. Time to spin the wheel of celebrity infections. If you guess CNN's talking head Chris Cuomo, step right up and pick up your floppy fishing cap and rosary beads. Don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Yesterday, Cuomo announced that, indeed, the CNN anchor and brother to the New York governor has the dreaded plague. I tested positive. Scared. Yes, as you might imagine. But better me than you. I'll agree with that. CNN's Chris Cuomo announcing on the network last night he tested positive for coronavirus. Cuomo will continue to host his show, Cuomo Primetime, from his mom's basement. Now, he has his own basement. He can afford it. Are those sounds coming from outside or or in the basement? New Jersey has had what may be its first COVID-19 bust. A 99-year-old man, yes, you heard that right, 99-year-old guy, has been charged with violating the state's coronavirus emergency regulations. It seems that Michael Zimmerman was hosting an engagement party in a Lakewood home when cops raided the illegal nuptial gathering and busted Mr. Zimmerman. Got a warrant here for your arrest. He was charged with violating an executive order with his criminal gathering activity and also caught a half a dozen child endangerment charges. Buddy, what are you in for? Hosting an engagement party. This is the world today in fabulous 2020. But wait, there's more. Also in Jersey, a 25-year-old woman in Pittman broke the lockdown to firebomb her boyfriend's house with a Molotov cocktail. This damn hot! Carly Russell was charged with arson and weapons offenses, along with a disorderly person's offense for violating the stay-at-home order. Oh, for the record, the Molotov cocktail failed to ignite. Just up the shore a bit in New York, the Intercept reports that Rikers Island inmates are being offered six bucks an hour to help dig mass graves on Hart Island. A spokesman for the mayor's office says, yeah, it's indeed true, but went on to note that the offer is not, quote, COVID specific. (laughs) Yeah, I believe that. He noted the prisoners have been digging graves on Hart Island for years. A real tragedy unfolded in North Texas today as an 18-wheeler crashed just outside of Hutchins, scattering its load across I-20. Its load? A full haul of toilet paper. Oh, the humanity! The driver and his traveling companion Pooch did not sustain any life-threatening injuries. Police were allegedly overheard saying, This shit is gonna get out of control, and we'll be lucky to wipe through it. N-E-W-S. 
a mostly correct and occasionally incomplete transcript and links to reference sources and articles of this Overnight Underground can be found at OvernightUnderground.com.